we're discussing the yaw, because he's got a mate called Snoo, Snoozy, obviously, who, who started to yawn on the bus. And in theory, when the fire starts to yawn, everyone will start to yawn. And the whole bus will, apparently, fill with yawning people. <laughs> if that was actually the case, we'd all have died out years ago, because there'd be no oxygen left on in plenty. <laughs> but luckily, there, we've got Leicester potholes. <laughs> Up and round. Perfect. You're just about to fall asleep. You're about to do the best yo-yo maneuver I have. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly, <laughs> big pothole. And where there aren't any potholes, obviously, we put speed ramps in. Rest <laughs> <laughs> to the council. Rest in your time and money. <laughs> I was testing all this out on the local population and one of them actually said to me, I've had a lot of me. And which is <laughs> quite familiar because two, uh, two years ago I had a lobotomy during epilepsy and it's been the best thing ever. But to have that shouted out by someone, um, I've had a lobotomy and it was still funnier than you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so, uh, the last one that I've learned, everybody tends to go back to yo yo when they're 30. One of the most obvious manoeuvres everybody seems to learn when they're 30 is called the rebound manoeuvre. Which obviously, string theory does about buy life and all sorts of things to how yo yo's work. But basically, once it's gone, it'll never come back. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs>